Well, the holiday came with some disappointment this year as thousands of Americans are still waiting for things that they ordered online for Christmas. UPS and FedEx are scrambling to deliver and to answer complaints. Suzanne Kennedy is live from a UPS shipping facility in Springfield with what caused the nationwide shipping delays. Suzanne? Well, the big shipping companies, UPS and FedEx, are blaming it on poor weather and overloaded systems. Consumers don't really care what the reasons are. They're just unhappy that it impacted their holiday. I'm still really angry. Manassas mother Lori Howard spent Christmas Eve scrambling to get her four year old son's holiday gift to her home. She paid $30 extra for next day delivery through FedEx so the Thomas the Tank Engine train chair would make it by Tuesday. But late that afternoon, she was told by a company telephone rep. Sorry, we're overwhelmed. It's not getting shipped today. The package was at this Herndon FedEx facility. Dylan's dad made the nearly hour long trek there. When he arrived five minutes before closing, he found other irate customers. There were dozens of other people there just kind of rolling in with their uh, tracking slips. Ibrahim Kayat paid extra to have his brother's present delivered by Christmas. He was disappointed when it never arrived and adding insult to injury, he had to go to this Alexandria UPS facility today to pick up the gift. I talked to them on the phone and I had uh, for hours and uh, we had a uh, lot of arguments and yeah. But they told me that I just have to come and pick it up. UPS issued a statement saying the volume of air packages in our system exceeded the capacity of our network. FedEx told customers we're sorry that there could be delays. Lori Howard says she will try to get her money back for the so-called expedited shipping. The whole experience leaves her frustrated by the lack of customer service. I think their attitude towards it was really poor. I think it still is really poor. Um, and I, I think, you know, how could you not have been prepared for the season? Some merchants are trying to make good on this situation. Amazon announced today that it will offer gift cards and refunds for those impacted by the UPS shipping situation. As for FedEx and UPS, neither has said whether they will do anything to make consumers feel better about what happened this week. In Alexandria, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.